Hi, this is Luann with Rock and Book Reviews, and I'm so pleased to be here today with publicist Aaron Conti. Uh, I've enjoyed working with Erin so much, and I am really impressed with her professionalism and uh, her efficiency. Uh, Erin, tell us a little bit about Erin Conti growing up in New York. All right. Uh, well, thank you for having me. This is a very exciting opportunity. Um, I grew up in the Bronx, which is one of the suburbs above Manhattan, in a really small neighborhood. I was a very, very shy kid, never really knew how to talk to people my own age, but I was great with parents. Um, so I would just always read. I was that kid with three different books that were not school books in my head, walking through the halls. Um, I think the first book I ever fell in love with was Charlotte's Web, and mm -hmm. then the Warriors series about the feral cats living in like a Connecticut suburb. Um, and then I just stuck with YA fantasy, basically moved on to memoirs as I got older. And I just really loved being transported out of my tiny, shy little world into other people's lives, even whether they were real or fake. And I knew that I needed to keep going with books in my life. That's wonderful. I can kind of relate because I always, growing up, got along better with older people or little children, but people near my age, I like froze up and I didn't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, before becoming a publicist, you were originally going to become a writer. Uh, yeah. What changed all that? Um, some college classes. I... I have short stories on a very, very old desktop in my parents' house dating back to like 1999 when I was three or four years old. I was always reading and writing. But then when I got to college and I did all my creative writing classes and a big part of that is workshopping. So everybody in the class writes a story and everybody reads it and gives feedback and critique. And those workshops made me realize that I prefer working with something that's already written. Like I prefer to take a first draft and make it better and say, have you considered this angle? Or I'd love to reread it from this perspective. And that was just so much more fun for me. It was so much more of a, it was a richer experience. So I switched tracks from writing to editing and then of course, I had the bad luck of trying to find a job during the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> so I took the first job in the industry that I could, which was a publicity job, because I had also had a public relations intern throughout college. Um, and that internship, it was a really, really interesting experience because we worked with nonprofits like animal shelters or an Alzheimer's association. Um, and like a local one in New York, um, not the Alzheimer's Association. But it was such an interesting experience seeing how companies present themselves to the world and reach people. So when I was looking for a job after college with these dreams of being an editor, I realized that maybe I should actually focus on the publicity and reaching the reader. And I've really enjoyed it so far. So how did you learn of PR by the book and become a part yes. of it? <laughs> From applying to every job I could find during the pandemic. <laughs> um, but I do, now that I've been with PR by the book for nearly a year, I'm really enjoying it because it's, um, the company is completely remote and has been since well before the pandemic. This is actually our 20th anniversary year. Um, and we've been remote that entire time. So it's really interesting just seeing how a company can exist and fully function efficiently without having one office where everyone sees each other and there's constant meetings. Everyone's independent, but we're all still so connected. And it's really unique because we can represent authors all over the country because we don't have one central office that they have to be able to access. Um, so it really, that is very interesting too. One of my clients right now is in California and I'm in New York. So that time difference is a little difficult, but it's so refreshing to talk to someone on the other side of the country and 
see a new perspective, learn new things. I have never heard of the PR by the book until I met you online. <laughs> and uh, how does one choose a publicist that can offer more than another company can? Uh, well, PR by the book, so we're a small boutique firm. So we're not connected to any specific publisher. Um, we work with a lot of self-published authors, a lot of hybrid authors. Um, so not the big houses, not the well-known indie houses, the smaller houses that maybe don't have their own publicity arm, for example. Um, and sometimes we just work with the authors themselves. Sometimes we collaborate with the houses, the publishing houses. Um, it's just, it's really interesting how each client is so different and we really tailor each campaign to each author and what they need from us. It's always blows my mind how the differences in, in publicists and companies. And, uh, and I thought, how would I go about choosing <laughs> one if I was writing a book? So it's a lot of word for mouth. It's a lot of just recommendation from other authors or from the marketing or their editor at the house that doesn't have a publicity arm. And they say, well, we've worked with them before. They're pretty great. Well, I can say that you're pretty great. <laughs> Thank you. And I totally <laughs> recommend you to all the authors out there. <laughs> so, um, Tell us about two books that you're offering for a giveaway. Okay. So two of my current authors right now have some pretty amazing books, completely different books, but they're both wonderful. The first is Nature's Olympics by uh, Janet Ruth Heller. She is a poet from Michigan. Uh, she currently lives in Portage. And these are poems that she wrote as early as 1969 when she was an undergraduate student in college. Um, there are poems that she wrote during the pandemic in 2020. Um, it's a really beautiful stretch of her work that focuses on nature, both in the city or in the Midwest and rural areas, um, just nature everywhere and how it resonates with people, how it connects people, ties people together. She also touches on some really serious topics. Um, like equality, like the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, but all of her poems are accessible. And that's what I love about it the most is they're so easy to read and enjoy and understand. And she really wrote it for adults and children, not just academics, because she herself is a retired professor. She's taught literature, women's studies, several different topics at eight different universities. Um, and her book is just, I pick it up before bed sometimes because it's just so refreshing and so enjoyable. And my other author right now is Dawn Fleming, who wrote Claim Your Dream Life, How to Retire in Paradise on a Shoestring Budget. And though I am nowhere near retirement, it was an incredibly interesting read for me because I do not have a head for finances. So reading all that advice was very interesting about how to not only save money, but create revenue streams for yourself when you're older, when you're looking for to retire so that you're still making money in a way, or you're saving money, you can move to a beautiful location, leave the United States and go to that beautiful beach vista that you've always wanted to live on, or go to that European city that you've always dreamed about. And you can do it affordably you can do it comfortably and you shouldn't be afraid to take that leap and chase your dreams. Those sound like two fantastic books. <laughs> so one lucky U.S. Canada winner will receive a copy of each. Um, do you have any final comments you'd like to make before we close? Uh, no, I think that's it. I just wanted to thank you for being amazing yourself. And I love how we can work so closely for the last several months on so many different campaigns and how the pandemic just has not stopped the book industry. Like it really gives me hope to see all of these amazing books still being published, reviews and interviews going on. So thank you for doing what you do as well. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, for all your patience and 
I have been through so many trials and you have been so sweet and so patient and understanding and I really appreciate it. Um, so and in closing, we want to encourage all of you out there to search the universe through books. Goodbye. <laughs>